Wait, becoming a front-end developer? What does that mean? In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most highly sought-after programmers in software engineering. We're going to discuss everything from how they accomplish the software mysteries of your favorite websites to the most important skills they are required to develop. Sit back, grab a notepad if you like, and let's get into it. Who is a front-end developer? Whether you enjoy using a website or are super prepared to click the fastest button out of it is partly a result of the design of the website. Behind the immersive experience you get is a programmer we professionally refer to as a front-end developer. A front-end developer is responsible for building the layout of a website from scratch, including the various icons and toggles that users rely on to get a service done. They work in sync with UI UX designers and back-end developers with a mandate to ensure that web pages are purpose-built and alluring. Okay, now we've gotten a tad confusing. Backend developers perform the exact opposite of what the front-enders do. As a programmer in the field, you are expected to implement all the background stuff, like the development of the infrastructure, database, communications, etc, etc. So, while front-end developers major in what a consumer sees, backend guys design the unobserved, supporting elements. Full-stack developers, on the other hand, have mastered both specialities and are able to crisscross their separate mechanics. So, how are you able to become a front-end developer? The first thing to do is learn the three core languages of front-end development, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These languages are the foundational elements of websites, and you can learn them by leveraging countless online resources, HTML. Speaking of basic but undispensable languages, Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML, is certainly one. Using it, you can design the skeletal structure of web pages. It works in the placement of text and page components like paragraphs, navigation bars, headings, sections, and so on. It is also central to the addition of images, videos, and other multimedia. However, because it is quite elementary, the language has to be supplemented by CSS and JavaScript for full effect. CSS. Short for cascading style sheets, CSS is the next layer in the formation of an aesthetic front end. You basically use it to include colors, fonts, and layouts in your web pages. This language will also enable you to configure a website to different devices such that phones and personal computers can present content in separate but adapted styles. Although we frequently mention it in the same breath as HTML and JavaScript, it can work independently. You can use it for site maintenance and the distribution of style across web pages. One way to enhance your skills with this language is by learning how it interacts with frameworks like Bootstrap. You can also up your talents by developing familiarity with CSS preprocessors. Combined both reduce coding time and optimize web deliveries. JavaScript the third leg of the web development tripod is JavaScript. It helps you customize your page so that it becomes more visually engaging. Beyond the less advanced inclusion of HTML and CSS, JavaScript allows you to insert animations, graphical effects, dynamic styles, constantly updated maps, games, and a variety of other exciting stuff. With JavaScript, there are collections of libraries and frameworks you want to learn to. But before you get confused by our use of the interchangeable terms, library and framework, which let us explain, both share many similarities but serve some slightly different purposes. A library enables you to add specific functionalities to your code. A framework, on the other hand, is pre-written code, which enables you to skip the rudimentary trial and error process of writing code for routine areas of your project. In essence, both differ in terms of what a developer can include. Having said that, the jQuery is a JavaScript library which enables you to add custom elements to your projects. If you ever need to add an autocomplete function to a separate form or throw in a timer, this is your perfect resource. On the framework side of things are multiple tools that apply to different cases. In reality though, you will mostly need five. Angular, React, Backbone, Ember, and Vue.js. Mastery of these frameworks will turbocharge your prospects for the front-end labor market. React, for instance, can add some extra thousand bucks to your standard front-end developer earnings. What other things do you need to do? Practice. Well, the first thing we would tell you is to intensively practice coding. You can quickly become a pro by improving your skills on a consistent basis. The more work you put into familiarization, the easier it comes to you and the better the jobs you can land. Connected to this is the need to stay on top of emerging technologies to keep your techniques refined and up to date. You can access tons of online developer communities where you need to meet new coders and share ideas. Create a portfolio. Also, you do not want to miss out on selling yourself at every opportunity. One way to do this is by creating a portfolio. There you can present the stuff you created to others for criticism and invent newer tricks from there. Not every project you include at the early stages of your front-end development career must be a client project. For emphasis, the focus is on cultivating your technical skills. This does not mean you should exclude developing soft skills as well as you become better at communication and implementation. And that's it for today's video, guys. Do you think there are other strategies an inspiring front-end developer can apply? 
What other skills should be learned for hiring purposes? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.